My name is Darwin Salazar. I am an administration of justice major. What, what made me decide ADJ is uh, after I met with Dave Smith, he let me know about the uh, cybersecurity, homeland security program. Technology is not going anywhere anytime soon. It's, if, if anything, it's, going, it's only going to continue growing exponentially. So I saw it as a, as a huge opportunity to, to just get into the, the administration of justice program and take that route. This summer, I'll be going to Michigan to intern with Ford Motors. In cybersecurity, there's blue team and then there's the red team. And the blue team plays the defensive side and the red team uh, goes on the attack. So essentially, what we're trying to do is simulate what happens in real life. And the red team is only trying to find vulnerabilities within the vehicle that could be exploited by criminals. And then after I come back from interning with, with Ford Motors, uh, I've accepted a full-time offer with Johnson & Johnson uh, to work on the security of their medical devices. The Administration of Justice program really uh, taught me how to approach cybersecurity from a different perspective. It taught me uh, the legal approach, uh, the business approach, which included the ramifications that your business could face if they don't uh, take cybersecurity seriously enough. Uh, it also taught me the operational side of it. So a lot of, uh, I would say, hands-on uh, training with the mobile forensics course especially. I'm still thinking about law school because I do have the administration of justice background and hopefully being able to tie my technical acumen with my uh, legal background and my legal degree, being able to tie those together, I could accomplish some pretty big things in the, in the legal field. Growing up in, in South, uh, the South side of Providence, uh, it, was, it was a tough upbringing. I wasn't always the smartest kid. I, I, I made dumb decisions. I didn't apply myself. Salve really empowered me. It gave me, it gave me a voice. Uh, nobody ever told me no while here at Salve, and that's something that I'll, that I'll take with me forever. I started going back to my high school and talking to some of the students there. They were just like me. They're, they're kind of at-risk youth. So I kind of wanted to just give them my, my story and see if that would motivate them. And I always felt like if I impacted one of those um, kids' lives, then I'm, I'm, doing, I'm, doing, I'm fulfilling my purpose. Now that I, now that I have that voice um, on campus and back in my community, I'll continue to give back. When I tell students my story, they, they kind of don't believe it, but I tell them I don't believe it. <laughs> I, I kind of just tell them, like, I don't believe it either, but with hard work, um, you're able to accomplish anything. There's a lot, of, there's a lot more work to do. And um, I think I'll never be fully satisfied with, with where I'm at. And that's, that's a good and a bad thing because sometimes I'm too hard on myself. But also it's what gives me the drive to, to keep uh, accomplishing uh, the things that I've been accomplishing. So.